the heavens declare the glory of God and all of the earth will join the praise his wonders proclaim the oceans and skies lift up their voice and all he has made will rise to bless the king of all kings let us adore him let us adore him jesus christ is the lord eternity coming again though all of the earth will fade away his truth will Welcome to Wimbo Gospel, and today we are with Susan Washira. We really appreciate you, we really love you, and welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's been an amazing time being here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, now, um, so how has been your, your worship? Like, since you started, how can you give it to us, like, in a nutshell? Yeah. So um, I started serving in church when I was pretty young. Mm -hmm. I got born again when I was in class seven. Okay. And I got born again at an audition. So our church that time, I used to go to Deliverance Church Italy. Yeah. So that time they were doing auditions for the worship team. So I went, auditioned, got born again and joined the team. So I can say that that's when I started learning about worship music, mm -hmm. or worship ministry, and or um, music ministry. Um, yeah, and, and so it's been amazing. Of course, I didn't have the understanding that I have now, but it was worthwhile. It was a process. Went to high school, participated in CU, praise and worship, choir, yeah. 
then later after school joined Pitson's band joined K crew wow. then started singing with amazing artists and I thank God for that and then to go up a leo yeah yes so i believe you're at Kara Chapel Nairobi yes 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 so how that how how has that been experience and how has it helped you to grow spiritually mm. I joined Karura Community Chapel in 2016. Okay. So I I, I when I joined um I didn't just come to visit or you know the way people say ah oh, I want to move churches I feel the Lord is leading me here. I was invited by a friend to help them prepare for a prayer night. They mm-hmm. were doing a prayer night for the leaders of the youth worship youth ministry actually. Okay. So I we, we did our rehearsals, sang and you know when after just doing that whole prayer session and everything I I really felt at home and we created bonds with some of the people in the band started singing together and of course now I transitioned to Karura so um it has helped me, helped me to grow a lot because I I am in charge of the music ministry there together with some few other guys and and so being able to lead other people of course causes you to grow because you can't lead people where you've not yet been and you really have to be on top of your game if mm-hmm. you want uh, your team to grow yeah. so it has really helped me in that regard also just giving me a covering i am so grateful for my pastor pastor joshua mm-hmm. and he has covered me talked to me prayed over me yeah. i think that is so important i used to downplay the place of covering i used to hear people say covering and i used to feel like hey this is so christianese mm-hmm. ini nini this is so, it's so heavy it's so deep yeah. but i'm covered i'm like hey. <laughs> but now i understand it is so important yeah. uh, to be covered and i believe that those are some of the benefits i've gotten just by being a part of karura community chapel mm-hmm. yes and take me back when did you realize that you are going to be a worship leader as in what at, at what pi- at what point did you feel like i think this this, this is my path and this is my calling um I, when i started out i used to do it as music i knew okay. that hey i have this talent because guys used to say una imba poa so i was like hey i sing well so i have this talent i can sing okay. at first that's how it started it was not all oh, serious music worship mm-hmm. street church no 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 it was just i have a hobby i have this talent I love singing but I remember in 2015 particularly in 2015 uh this was my first year uh, in Kekru worship team we were growing a lot we were being taught by Pastor Liz uh she fellowships with Papa Center Church yeah. and she used to mentor us because she'd be there for our rehearsals for our keshas and sometimes she would say things and you'd go like ah huh? because I I grew up knowing I can sing so I'm supposed to be in the worship team yeah. but she gave us a different perspective to eat yeah. and and from that time to in 2015 is when I started realizing that you know what it's not just about song mm-hmm. it's not about having a beautiful voice yeah. you can have a beautiful voice but um, ministering and serving God's people and serving God in particular requires more than just a good voice yeah. so I can say 2015 is when I realized oh I'm not called just to sing but to minister mm-hmm. yeah So around uh, roughly how long have you been singing? So from two <laughs> <laughs> from 2007 around there. Of course I started singing when I was way young. Although that time no one knew it was a talent. They okay. thought I was because I was very extroverted. Mm-hmm. Super super extroverted. Like wow. my our neighbors would tell my mom, you're living now to a Chiesu. Wow. That's how extroverted I was and I would come up with stories in my head and tell people <laughs> everyone was like leo kuna bash make sure sua make up <laughs> so I was that extroverted completely completely uh but uh, as I grew up you know things of course started changing yeah. how long have you been singing how long have I been singing yeah. so um so everyone thought my singing was out of the fact that I was an extrovert okay but in 2008 there about 2007 2008 is when i realized okay this is something this is something yeah, that's more than just being a very bubbly child yeah yeah so what are some of the people that influence you to to sing oh wow that's a good question um to sing yeah oh to be if i'm really really honest I, I think it now now it has changed yeah 
then because I, I used to listen to a lot of Michael Jackson, Lucky Dube, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of country by the way. I listened to a lot of country growing up. Yeah. Kina Kenny Rogers, I've forgotten the other names, like Kina Dolly Parton. Mm-hmm. So that time I used to feel like, hey, these guys are singing so well. Me, I want to sing like this. But nowadays it has changed. Um, it's more about how someone ministers and how they live their life. Yeah. So yeah, probably the people who inspire me in that regard. I can say here in Kenya, Alice Kimanzi, mm-hmm. I really enjoy her music. Yeah. Uh, I also love Eve Nyasha from Nairobi, uh, from ICC. Mm-hmm. I also love Becca Dawn. Yeah. Um, there's so many. I, I can't exhaust. I love Klingiwe from South Africa. Mm-hmm. I love Tasha Kops, Kiera. Yeah, Tasha Kops. Yes, yeah, totally, Kiera. totally love her. Aki, there are so many. I can't exhaust. Yes, yeah. yes. So, apart from music, apart from writing, because I understand you have your own songs, right? Yes. Yes, yes. So apart from writing and singing, what else do you enjoy doing? That's usually a tough question, Aki. Aww. It's such a tough <laughs> question. Because I feel like singing and music is all I do. However, yeah. you know, that's not it. I enjoy trying new things. I'm, I'm those people who I would I will try something new. Yeah. Yeah, so some, there are times I would just sit in and be like, um, let me try and bake cookies. Okay. Let me see if I can. <laughs> so generally, I will. I love trying new things. It okay. doesn't have to be art in particular. Yeah. It can even be, ah, there's this knitting thing. I'll just try. Yeah. And then if it doesn't work, I'll be like, ah, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> so I think that's one of the things I, I do a lot. Like mm. I will just throw myself out there and try something new. I also love chatting those people who know me well, the people who know me well know that I can talk. I can talk until my jaws start. <laughs> Mostly when it involves something that I'm passionate about yeah. or something that I have like a bit of knowledge about. I love. I really, really love talking. Um, yeah, adventure, kutembea. Mm. Yeah, I really love walking. Uh, but if it involves new, seeing new sceneries and yeah, yeah. Okay, there are so many people that say that, 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 that they will want to be singers, they will want to be, and especially worship leaders, yeah? Yes. So what advice will you give them? What advice? Yeah, for the upcoming, for the upcoming. worshipers, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Um, I know what I want to say. I just don't know how I want to say it because I feel like it's very personal to yeah, me yeah. and I would want them to, to understand. Mm-hmm. Um, let your singing have purpose. Yeah, it's okay to work on your craft and actually I should actually say that work on your craft mm. don't expect that you'll wake up and sing well or even draw well mm-hmm. whatever it is or become the best engineer you have to really work on your craft invest mm. time uh, spend time with people who yeah. are even better than you people who can teach you people you can grow from mm-hmm. but let it have purpose don't allow your gift or whatever it is to be all about you. When your aim is, lazima wajui ata mimi naweza. When your aim is, hey, I want to hear people say that I'm good. Yeah. When that is your aim, uh, it will lead to destruction. But when, when it has a purpose, when it's, I, I, I want to see a people healed, mm-hmm. or I want to see a better economy, I want to see better structures, you know, for those people who are like architects or engineers or whatever, I want to change the world, I want to make this a better place, yeah. then your motivation even changes, it stops from being, I want people to praise me to, I, I want people's lives to be impacted, mm-hmm. and with that kind of mentality, you will go very far, yeah. but with the other mentality, when people start praising you and seeing that, oh, yeah, Anaiza, then you stop at that. So yeah. you've already gotten what you wanted. Exactly, yeah. So you stop at that, you become comfortable, you become proud. Yeah, so what I'd advise them is let your serving or whatever it is, skill, have a purpose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So how can people get you? Uh, we can talk on Instagram. Yeah. My name is Sue Washira on Instagram, on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I'm not very active on Twitter. I'll be <laughs> lying if I tell them to, <laughs> to tweet yeah, me. me yeah, yeah. But on YouTube, I'm also Sue Washira. So yeah. yeah, they can check out some of the things I do. So how has been your experience in Wimbo Studios? First of all, let me tell you, mm-hmm. I entered this place. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to ask the, the, the people I came with, oh my God, this place looks so nice. What have they done? Uh, and I realized all of us were in the same boat. So it looks, first of all, it looks amazing. Thank you. Uh, very amazing. Very warm, homely. Thank you. Um, yeah, I can say I felt at home. Thank yeah, you yeah, so, so much. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. So you're welcome over and over again. Thank you. We really appreciate you. We are honored to have you here. Yes. Yeah, and now 
I think we just have to wrap it up, yeah? Yeah. You can tell totally. your fans, uh, anything. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, God loves you. God cares about you. He has a plan for you. I, I hope you've given your life to Christ. I really, really do hope you have. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I hope this has been an amazing time for you. Uh, have an amazing year, next year, new year. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Merry Christmas. Thank you for having us. And until we meet again, bye-bye. God bless you.